adequate and good medical products regulation is one where you have the, all the key regulatory functions in place and these are implemented and that you have the, all the necessary uh, procedures and processes properly documented and followed by those who undertake uh, regulatory functions and also you have the necessary uh, expertise within the regulatory agency uh, who will be undertaking uh, these functions. So of course all this is backed by adequate legislation so that uh, by the end of the day uh, the public health is actually protected and promoted because this is the primary uh, mission of any regulatory authority uh, that undertakes this noble function. People would be at risk uh, of accessing products that are not safe, that are not effective, and that also do not meet the, the current standards of quality. So uh, when you don't have an effective regulatory framework or regulatory system in a country or in a region, then uh, people's health is actually at, at risk. And therefore, uh, when somebody goes to a health facility uh, for medical care, uh, he may be prescribed medicines that uh, are not safe and that are not effective and therefore you are not achieving the public health goals therefore. Yeah, regulatory harmonization is bringing uh, uh, countries and regions together uh, to undertake uh, medicines regulation work uh, by leveraging the, 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 the uh, limited resources that are available. So this has been happening in the region uh, especially on the African continent and therefore when you bring the regulators together uh, from different countries each one of them will come with different expertise and therefore uh, you'll be sharing the limited resources that are available in, 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 um, in a region uh, to achieve uh, the goals of ensuring quality and safety of medical products in the countries in that particular region. From the start of this program, uh, uh, if the benchmark is the East African community, therefore, which launched this program in 2012, we have had a long way of developing the standards. So my message to the, to the regulators here is that let us now go to the actual implementation. Let us now implement uh, the harmonized guidelines and get the safe uh, quality and effective medicines to the patients on the continent.